Now, there is help at hand for people who are forgetful, frail, or prone to falls because of their age or because they live alone. It's called Smart Home, and it's been developed by the Disabled Living Foundation in conjunction with a local council, a housing association, and a health trust. Louisa Preston went to see how it works. John Mandrak has been visually impaired for 25 years after tearing his retina. But with the help of the Disabled Living Foundation, he lives an independent life. I have lots of things around me here. Um, I'm very fortunate, really. I've got uh, a kitchen which is very accessible to me. Equipment that you can get nowadays is so empowering for people like me, really. Um, got to talking microwave, it you know, sort of enables me to to cook independently using the microwave. Start, high power, one minute. I've got little bump-ons which enable my washing machine and my oven controls, for example, to become tactile so I can set the temperatures. Also, I've got a liquid level indicator um, which enables me to make a cup of tea, you know, get, the, get the milk at the right level and, uh, and then add the tea in afterwards. And one of the latest gadgets I've got is um, is talking labels to to go on in tins. Now, I can tell you in the past that it was quite funny, but really one day I wanted to make some baked beans and accidentally put peaches in the saucepan by mistake. So that's a really useful uh, new gadget that I've got, so I can't make that mistake again. The national charity DLF has been helping older and disabled people for 35 years, providing free advice and information about products and services that can make their lives a lot easier. The DLF doesn't do equipment, it does people. And we put the people at the centre of everything we do because we want to uh, ensure that the public now, with an ageing population, has the fullest, the most comprehensive, trusted, impartial information that can help them make choices for independence and for, for living longer in their homes. The DLF is promoting new technology to enable older people and disabled people to live in their homes for longer in a safer environment. For instance, if someone walked through their front door and forgot to close it, an alarm would go off at a call centre. Do not worry. Your alarm telephone is the curtains can also be programmed to open and close at certain times of the day to help people with poor mobility. The smart home is a specially constructed show flat which combines existing mobility equipment with the latest in telecare. All right, so if you press this button here, the lift will take you down into the water. It's a new generation of technology that uses a telephone network to provide a way of monitoring a person in their own home. On the control for this machine is a press button that they can use which will work through the telephone and alert help and they can talk to the person on the other end of the phone and summon help or tell them what they need. Don't forget to take your key when you go out, Dad. Many of the designs are for people who are forgetful, frail and prone to accidents. This bed sensor activates a light when someone gets up and rings through to a call centre if the person doesn't return to bed in a certain time, indicating that they may have fallen. The DLF is a perfect uh, place for us to develop a smart home flat uh, because people in Westminster can actually come to the flat and look at some of the technology that potentially they could use in their homes. With technology advancing all the time, the DLF has now created its own website so people can view what's available without having to wait for an assessment by social services, reducing the pressure on local authorities and enabling the client to get on with their independent living.